Carters and their drays have been a feature of Ireland's traffic all this century, indeed for up to 80 years. And CIE just carried on the tradition by using them as an essential part of their delivery service in cities and towns. The horse and cart is an anachronism in the 60s. Busier roads, faster traffic, choked cities has made them out of date and, to many, a nuisance. They have angered motorists, irritated civic authorities who have drawn up plans to speed up urban traffic. And companies too in recent times have had some difficulty in getting carters. So the day of the horse moves to an end. There's a block of two in the back up for a minor in Corona. And there's a guitar for a cowboy way out in Arizona. And there's a dress of calico. CIE have decided to take them off the roads of Cork City and replace them by a fleet of tractors. They expect all the horses will be withdrawn by the end of March and later they propose to withdraw them from Dublin and the other Irish cities. A horse costs £3.10 a week to maintain and according to Cork area manager Mr Connor Clune, they are no longer economic. Oh yes, it is an economic proposition, but no. And starting, it is uh, just marginal, but as time goes on, it will improve. At the present time, uh, we hope to replace 40 horses by uh, approximately 22 tractors, and you will understand this is quite a, an economic proposition. Aside from economics, was this decision in any way forced upon you by urban councils? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'd say that everybody would agree that at the present time, horses in city traffic are an anachronism. In fact, we've had, of course, quite a number of complaints from people saying that uh, our horse traffic was slowing up traffic. Um, aside of that, I would say that uh, looking after horses uh, such as we have is a dying craft. In fact, we've, recently we've had a number of cars lying idle because we couldn't get men to look after them. Another factor is, of course, that by using mechanically propelled vehicles where well, there is covered accommodation, the men are in from the weather and they're able to continue operation on wet days. Is this a pilot scheme in Cork? Do CIE plan to withdraw the horses in every other town and city in Ireland? Oh, well, no, it's not a pilot scheme. We have This scheme has been going on for quite some time. In the case of Cork, you can see it's been going on for two years. But we hope to have this particular scheme completed at the end of March. Uh, all over the country, uh, uh, this has been going on. When the scheme is finished in Cork, uh, Yahal will be the only place where we will have horses left. There will be two horses still there operating with two uh, tractors. And in time, of course, as opportunity offers, these two horses will go also. What about the men who drive these horses? What happens to them? Well, we have spent quite a lot of time training these men. The vast majority of them have successfully adapted themselves. We have our own training scheme. We've made use of private training schemes. Uh, in fact, most of the men opted, one or two didn't. They preferred to go into all other types of jobs. There will be no redundancy. The men who didn't uh, avail of the scheme will be able to place them as stand loaders or as goods porters. The CIE decision will mean a big change for Andy Casey, who's been stableman a long, long time. Well, I'm very sorry to see the horses go. After all, we worked them here. I worked here with them for 42 years. And uh, I'm sorry to see the thing happen, but uh, I suppose it is a necessity. We had here at one time 27 horses, but now they're down to 11. 
and there's a lot of them in here very sad over a thing happening too. Many people are sad over it to see the hassle leave the road. Driver Dick Fitzgerald has endured Cork City traffic for 20 years. Well, like the song says, the nearest and the dearest was Park. For a friend, I don't like to see him going with her. 24 years old William Buck is one of those who will move on to the tractors. Well, I suppose the time has come when we all have to hang our bridles on the wall for the last time. Even though the tractor is faster and more sufficient. There's one thing I'll say for the horses anyway. I won't be able to speak to me tractor. He's not an orcle by any stretch of the imagination, but Morty, this seven and a half years old CIE Dre horse, can claim a certain distinction. He's had two and a half years service as a Dre horse within the company. He travels about 20 miles a day and carries about eight tons of goods. His trouble is he's redundant. <laughs> 